All right, and we're back with some more PGA Tour golf, and we're going to continue our playthrough of the tour. Looks like we are now in second in the FedEx Cup standing, and we have no sponsor because we completed our sponsorship from last time. Let's just check the schedule for a minute. So we did last time, we did the Juno Cup, and we placed second, and also... We actually completed all the sponsorship um, requirements. So let's just go in here and select a new sponsor. We'll just continue on with TaylorMade. Uh, that's what we were working on before. They they have, I think, a few good um, rewards, those golf clubs in the uh, lower left-hand corner there. So we'll just continue that. But it does uh, look like we should probably do medium or hard because the easy sponsorship contract was that it was just too easy. We had it within one or two events out of the three. So let's see if we can do uh, maybe a medium contract difficulty, three events, and finish around with proximity to hole of 30 feet or less. Ah, uh, that should be doable. Finish in the top five in two events and finish around with 80% or better fairways in regulation. Okay, so that I think is very doable too. We do the hard events, uh, score a birdie or better on hole 16. Oh, that's very specific. So we have a good chance of failing that, but we do have three events to try it. Score par or better with Touch per hole. Uh, okay. And then finish in the top three in two events. Now that is probably difficult. That's probably difficult. Let's just do the medium one. We will go ahead and do that one. And yeah, I think that's a good setup there. So let's get started. Um, I think this is round, what is it? Seven. No. Round eight, the Reverie Open. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Round eight. All right, let's go ahead and play the event. It's a pleasure to bring you our PGA Tour action live on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Reverie Open is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And Rich, I'm ready to get stuck into it, so let's go right into this opening hole. Welcome, friends, to the opening hole at Ocean of Memories. Par four, 445 yards, and just a wonderful, gorgeous, poetic scene. Second shot is glorious absolutely glorious the green sitting up top of a little perch the bunker sitting there brown i just want to stare and watch it and look at it soak it in i know i can't wait let's get back down to the coverage all right so here we go looks like a pretty neat course see what the overview looks like okay so yeah that's big old beach right there that we have to avoid i don't think this should be too difficult it is a very high mile an hour wind nine miles an hour wow that's pretty high wind let's see if we can just club it really hard and still kind of fade it to the left onto the fairway Ooh, i don't know if we're gonna do that right wow Okay, so second shot here on the first. Not a good look from the first shot off the tee, and we still have we're dealing with an eight mile an hour wind. So let's just aim it over here, because boy, it's that is really white hard. Uh, let's see. Oh, I mean we're on the green. 
Alright, I'll take that. Well, it's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. Oh wow, look at these, these hills. Down. Let's see if they make it. Alright, we gotta read the green really good here. Go right over this hill. See what happened. Oh, that's a huge curve. Yeah, we misread that. Well. Let's try it. Looking really good, this one. No, not quite. And this one is for his par. We'll hold. Let's move uh, at least that wasn't too bad. That was a very horrible start. Very first the strike off the up. tee was right in the sand. Not a good look at all. But we still have a lot of golf ahead. We still have, what, 17 more holes to go. So Let's see what this is going to do. So we have a almost a 7 mile an hour tailwind. So we may be able to just really... Give it a good hit here. If we can hit it over the tree, maybe. Let's go. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's gonna work every time. Oh man, went off the fairway. Just off the fairway in the first cut. That is unfortunate because, well, anyway. I wonder if we can hit a five wood off the off the rough. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. We'll try it. Looks like they've got the five wood. I mean, not bad at all. You can hear the excitement in the air. It's starting to build. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here in the third hole. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Oh, that was a beauty. Well, that was indeed nice. Let's get back to it, shall we? Hopefully we can do the same. Get some good shots. Uh, let's see if we can get our first birdie of the day. Oh, this is for Eagle. Wait a minute. This would be really nice if we could get an Eagle. Ooh, I think we're gonna get one. No way! No! Wow. That is just a bummer. Oh well, a birdie's a birdie. But that eagle would have been sweet. Currently one under for the tournament. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. We've arrived at a par four. Oh wow, what does this course look like? Oh man, this is, I wonder if we can just cut the corner and go this way. Let's see if we can... Oh man, there's a lot of uh, things in the way. A lot of sand. And we don't, definitely don't want to be over that hill in the beach. But wouldn't it be cool if we could get right over here somewhere? Even getting in the sand would be okay because it would be closer and we'd be skipping half of the stuff behind us. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Just swing it as hard as we can. We have a headwind, so we can swing it quite hard, I guess. See if we can get on that green without going over let's do it there's nothing gonna slow that golf ball down after that wicked hook oh if we can get oh man okay for the second shot into the third not too bad not too bad i'm i'm actually okay with it look how close we are now Get a little chip shot. 
Of course, we won't make it, but at least we can probably get close. This is a headwind again, so we can use a little bit more power. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so this will be a nice birdie. Started out on a good line. A wonderful putt. You can claim it. Back to back birdies. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. We have a par three on this one. Boy, the scenery is pretty nice here. I mean, look at the scenery. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the red area, if you end up down there, then it's just basically out of bounds and you have to take a mulligan and it counts as a swing against you. So we definitely don't want to go down there. So we have a, ten, wow, a 10 mile an hour east wind. The excitement, it's starting, you can hear it. Well kind of aim this way and hopefully it will bend it toward the flag choosing the nine iron here. that might be too much come on look after us little bounce to the right here stay on the green stay on the green okay that's well played anything on the green from there was fine outside chance here for the birdie let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier Nice putt to make wow, nice shot. So I think the score to beat right now is like nine under par. Uh, this one's from downtown. Make sure you get the pace right. Wow, uh, this is uh, going to be a good one. Probably won't get the birdie, but get close. Yeah, totally misread. Completely and utterly misread the green. Yeah, we gotta go way over here. I mean, we'll get a little closer though. Oh, just missed. Just a four footer remaining. Don't wanna miss it, could be costly. Looks good off the blade. Well, that's a moment. All right, to make I'll take that. Well done. Now, seven shots behind after that. Yeah, so Ricky Fowler in first place scored a beat nine under. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. So we have a seven mile an hour tailwind. We're just going to go as hard as we can. Whip that ball down the fairway. Oh no. Oh, it's going back into the fairway. That was perfect. Look at that. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? This took place just a short time ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Beamer, that was right out of your playbook. Wow, that's amazing. Perfect shot. A couple uh, at this stage. Hopefully we can do the same. We've never made any incredible shots like that, ever. Maybe one day, though. Alright, so we do have a tailwind, so we don't want to hit it too hard. I'd rather roll up upon the hole than shoot over it. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh yeah, roll. Okay, it's right there. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Oh, I barely got in. I would have missed. Take him to three under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Here 
we find ourselves on the turf of par four? Uh, let's see what this hole is all about. Uh, so we do have a headwind, nine miles an hour. That is quite strong. We're probably going to end up in the rough or in the sand, but that's fine. See if we can kind of get past that. With a massive hit. I'm hoping it will just go bounce back into the fairway. Or not. Darn. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, guys, it might not be all that bad here in the first cut sitting. All right, we do have a headwind. Let's go ahead and just give it a good smackaroo. Opting for the nine iron. Ah, oh, I didn't get on the, to the green. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. All right. I think we're going to get our par. These are good for the momentum. These ones right on eight feet. It's half a chance of being hold. All right. I'll take that. No, it's, it's kind of a complicated hole, a little bit, with the headwind. Headwinds are always difficult. Currently at three under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. All right, let's go ahead and give it a good smack. We got a tailwind. And it looks like it's going uphill, too. So as long as we avoid that sand bunker there, we can just maybe get over in this area. Let's do it. It looked like it came out of a cannon. All right, not bad. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Going with the nine iron, I don't yeah. know if it's been enough or not. Nice Let's see. That should find the surface. Oh, a little too far. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Johnny Mac, what's the news? Well, I'm on the eighth hole now. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Ooh. Boy, Rich, that was a big time save, that one. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. Okay, let's get back to the action. All right, let's this get back to our putting here. See if we can read this green this time. Yeah, not. We're going to have to make some adjustments. Light adjustment. Might have been too hard. Oh, man. What a bummer. It's just those little mistakes that are very costly. Enjoying a two stroke lead. Par threes are always fun. See if you can knock it close. All right, seven mile an hour wind going to the east or southwest. Let's see. Um, well, shoot. It is a hill there, so if you land here, it will roll back. So let's see if we can just kind of tap it over there. Looks to be going with the see what happens. That's tidy. And this part to move into the top 20. Wouldn't it be nice if we could get a birdie on this one? It's on a 
great line. And with that, and we did. And that will take him to four under. Nicely played. Slowly creeping up there. After that hole. So Ricky Fowler is still in first place at nine under par. And he's almost done. He's on the 17th hole. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. All right. Why do they want us to use a three wood? We're going to go with the driver. And just smack the heck out of this thing. Hard as we can. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Let's head to the 10th hole for this awesome highlight. Well, that was some fancy shot making there. Let's recap it. And it drops into the bucket. And how do these guys always do that? I have never experienced a good uh, hit like that before. It's just crazy. From around 120 yards here, five strokes behind our leader. All right, so we have an eight mile an hour headwind. Hmm. Again, we want to get onto the green, but off the fairway. And maybe bounce up onto it. Looks like they're getting that might not be edge. enough. Oh, no. Wow, that was way short. That was a bummer. Uh, a little off the target with that one. You know, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. These headwinds are brutal. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And this would be a great power putt if you can make this. All right, let's see if we can at least make par. We do not want to bogey on any of these holes on this entire tournament. That's the goal. Hey, nice looking line. Solid par putt, that. Now five strokes behind. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Go get after it. This player needs to make it happen and now. They don't need a birdie. They need an eagle. Yeah, I wish I could get an eagle so easily. So there is the flat. Wow, that's... The only way to get an eagle is to like... Well, do a shortcut through the trees. How about that? Think we could do it? risky it's very risky we're basically cutting the corners and trying to get here instead of hitting it here first ten mile an hour wind the chances of hitting a branch is pretty big but the trees are close we could probably get through it See, maybe go this way. I wonder if we can curve it like that through the hole between the trees. What do you think? Risky. If it clips a branch, then we will be in the bush. I say let's do it. Let's go as hard as we can. Oh my gosh, right through the hole. Perfect. That was not half bad. John, what's going on out there? We're down here on the 11th hole as Tony Finau gets ready to hit. Go in. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. And that will take him to seven under. Let's return to live play now. From around 170 yards here. They need to flight this one down into the wind.
Hmm, let's see. Pretty tough. We need to get on to the green, that's for sure. Nine mile an hour side wind. Looks to be going with the six iron. Get on the green at least. Oh, it's not gonna make it again. No way. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. All right, we got to do something here. All right, we'll at least get the birdie. Always Come on. These opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. He finds himself in a share of 15th position. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Ricky Fowler has ended his entire round at nine under, so that's the square to beat for first place. So let's see if we can catch up. We're on the 11th, and we're five under, so we still have time. If we can get like two or three more birdies, well, actually, we need four more birdies. Out of uh, what remaining seven holes left, so we've got some work to do. All right, let's see if we can do this. All right, get down. Oh, it's gonna be a long putt. Good shot there. A little too far. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. This one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. No. Nah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I think it's going to slide right by. Bummer. Okay, steady now. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We have a par four on this one. Well, if we could just get one eagle and and just in a par after that, that would be nice. So just to bump up closer to the leader. I don't think we can get over this. I think this is the furthest we can hit right here. Oh, well, we'll just smack it as hard as we can. Let's go. Sitting at five under par in their round. All right, let's see if we can bounce up onto the green. Going with the hybrid. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Oh, man, way too far. But at least we're on the green. Maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, I'm down on the 13th, and this is Sergio Garcia setting up his next shot. Oh, Rich. Man, these guys all have incredible shots. Into the hole. Thank you very much. Let's get back to it, shall we? 20 feet to the cup. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Got to read that green a little better. Sloping from left to right ever so gradually. Okay, so that wasn't a bad read. See if we could just move it just over a little more. Big chance here. Oh yeah. Now that's a good putt nice. Any day we needed that. That's a good way to move into the top ten. He's currently tied for eight. Well now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. Looks like Ricky Fowler has 
is retaining his first spot with nine under par. All right, we're gonna smack this one hard again. That one's heading down Broadway. Two wins so far this season. Yeah, we can't use the driver, so let's just... I guess we can still hit it as hard as we can and see if we can roll up onto the green. Try it. We don't really have much to lose. Oh, that was a bad shot. Bummer. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. See if we can land it close enough. Oh yeah. That's good. Well, sort of. Not really. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Yeah, these greens are very uh they're definitely not flat. Every green we've done so far has been Plagued with hills. See if we can read this green. Hmm. Little off. Little off. Just a little bit of an adjustment. And let's try if we can get it in there. Ah. Nope. That was a gallant attempt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that puddle drop. Well Alright, we still have four more holes to go Please to get to nine under. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Alright, let's see what we got here. Alright, we're gonna smack it hard. This should find the short grass. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Only a few shots off the pace. All right, let's see if we can get as close as we can to this thing. This one might need Come to on, get down there. Man, I just keep overshooting. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. The important part here. Keep overshooting. They're into the top five. Man, this is a pretty good slope from the right. See how we did on that one. I mean, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so we're going to need to make a little bit of a left side adjustment. All right, let's see if we can get it in. Please, we need this birdie. Oh yeah. That one had nice. To the top five he goes. Okay, seven under. Still have three holes to go. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with a great shot here. Third shot now. Those always come in handy. Completely unexpected, but welcome nonetheless. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. All right, so we're closing up. We're closing the gap. So Ryan Palmer and Ricky Fowler both ended their round at let's nine under. On the so that is the to score to beat. The field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four. What will they do? I think we're going to smack it hard and try to get over here somewhere. Mac at Hari, baby. Let's go. And this one might just sneak off the fairway. Oh. 
right on the fringe. Sergio Garcia just a short while ago. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Wonderful effort. Man, these guys can always read the greens and we can't. But I just have no good long play. It's really hard to read the green. Sitting at seven under par for the day. Currently tied for fifth place. All right, let's see if we can get as close as we can to the flag without going over. Uh, see, we always misread that. Time for fourth place. If you can hold this part, wants to make it. Okay, this looks like pretty flat. Man, we could get a birdie on this. Okay, just need to be adjusted to the right just a little bit this one's mm, get in there yes oh wow okay so we're eight under we got three more holes to go closer to that top spot on the leaderboard this is getting interesting man we have three people in the top spot here we have a par five. All uh, right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, wow, we're going to go right over the tree. All right, let's do it. Needs to make a move soon. Good shot there. And this is a mighty performance. Look at the player creeping up the leaderboard at just the right time. We expected to see someone come out of the pack to contend for this title. This player is doing just that. I don't think we can do it. We can't go through the trees like that. There's no way. Unless we move it. Can we really do it? Wow, that'd be crazy. I don't know about this. Oh well, let's try it anyway, I guess. Here we go. I guess uh, no pain, no gain. Wow, right through the tree. But it wasn't it wasn't the direction I was hoping for. But it did go through. Nice. Here we are with the third shot. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Alright, let's Let's just roll up onto the hole. Ooh, that's it. Not. Yeah, I thought I, I thought we'd get closer. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Yeah, this is probably not going to work, but we'll try to get as close as we can. This looks like about 34 feet to the cup, guys. Wow, way off, way, way, way off by a mile. All right. Well, we'll just get, just get closer, I guess. Ouch. Top it in for par. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. In she goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. All right, so they wanted to use a three-wood. We'll, we'll get it up there and kind of roll towards it. Here we go. Seems to have chosen the three-wood. Ooh, too far, I think. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, no. Ah, bummer. This is a spot they'd love to get up and down from. Just two shots off the pace. A little excitement going on right now. Let's just pet it. We'll just pet.
I'd rather just putt it because you have more control over the ball when you're putting. All right, here we go. No way. Okay, I did not expect that. That was actually kind of cool. So we are now tied in a four-way tie with first. Oh, we get a we get to watch our own replay. That's awesome. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually pretty sweet. So this. Wow. Oh wow, Justin Thomas. Ten under. He he snuck up on everybody. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. And we have up. one more hole to go. This so this is it. To play their final hole just a shot off the pace. So this is it. Because Justin Thomas is finished. And we now have the opportunity to actually win the round. All right, we're going to club this as hard as we can. Let's go. You're going to put your foot down. This is as good a time as any. Oh, look at that curve down the fairway. Perfect. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Oh, wow, this is going to be hard. We do not want to roll down here. Got to get it to land somewhere there. Hopefully we can do this. Oh, please, please get. Oh, no. What was that? This one's heading towards the rough, I think. Or at least it stopped. It's better to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And coming up well short. Okay, Whoa, what a so if we're definitely not going to win this. Even. That's a bummer, but we'll still be able to par this thing. This is a big moment in their round, isn't it? They have it all right in front of them. Will they seize the opportunity? Not a bad line. This. All right, that's end of the round. That's fine. Looks like we came in second, which is not bad. Uh, but boy, that Justin Thomas, he came up from behind really quick. That was crazy. Huh, that was great. Okay. All right, so let's advance this. This is not half bad. So we got some more, what, shoes? Shoes unlocked. That's cool. And, oh, our rival. We pretty much won from our rival. Just the one that we didn't do was the best hole. Cool. All right, so we didn't do too bad. Came in second. Uh, let's advance this thing. And let's take a look at our sponsors. So we finished around with the proximity to hole 30 feet or less, which was pretty easy. And we finished in the top five of two events, or at least of one event, one of two. So we still have two more events to check that one off. And then the final thing is finish around with 80% or better fairway and regulation, which we only did 57% of 80. We still have two events to raise that. So I think we're looking good. So let's look at the schedule. The next, the next round is waste management Phoenix open. Okay. So We'll be doing that next, and hopefully we can then finish up uh, some more sponsor-required elements, and then we can get some more goodies, some more free gear and stuff. So we'll be doing that next time.